Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. I'm here with the iRobot Roomba 560. This is an automated vacuum cleaning system that drives itself around, sucks up the dirt on your floor, and is really just an accessory for your home that, you know, just makes it a little bit cleaner than it would without it. Now this retails for from the iRobot store for $379.99, so it's not crazy expensive for what you're getting. You're getting a robot. I guess, but it's not, it's more on the expensive side, particularly when you consider that you can get a vacuum that probably does a better cleaning job for much less. But let's just go over a tour of the Roomba right now. So just the major things on here, you have your clock button and your day, hour, minute button. That's how you can uh, go in and schedule what times you want this thing to automatically clean. Now if you're not into it automatically cleaning, uh, you can just press the clean button whenever you want, it'll come out and do its thing. Now when it's pulsating like this yellow, or orange I guess, that means it's charging. When it's green, it's ready to go. There's also the dock button right here. So when it's going, if you don't want it to finish everything up and you just want it to stop, you can just press dock and it'll drive itself back to dock. This right here is just something to carry it with. Dirt detect, this will turn blue and the device will start spinning around to suck up all the dirt when it detects extra loads of dirt. The spot cleaning button is just for spot cleaning if you want to go ahead and do that. If we just take it back a little bit here, if you wanted to remove it, remove the bin, you just press this button, take it out, and that's how you empty out the Roomba. If we look at the bottom here, here's your edge cleaning brush. So what it'll do is it'll drive itself into a wall or it'll drive itself into some cracks and this thing will spin and bring everything to the main module. Now one of the accessories it comes with is a virtual wall lighthouse and let's go over what a virtual wall lighthouse is and what it does. Included with the Roomba 50, 560 are two wall vir virtual wall lighthouses. So I'll just show you one up close. Basically th they do two things. When you switch it to virtual wall mode, it of course makes what, what you expect a virtual wall for the Roomba not to pass. And then down here you can adjust its range. Now with the lighthouse, what that does is, it actually allows you, it's sort of like a virtual wall to start, not allowing the Roomba to pass. But then once the Roomba's done cleaning a particular room, the lighthouse will guide it into the next room, and then it'll guide it back so it can charge. Now, again, two, room, two virtual wall lighthouses come with this particular Roomba, but you can buy more down the road for additional virtual walls or additional lighthouses to guide it around multiple rooms. And the Roomba can apparently clean four entire or average sized rooms on one charge. Like I said, the, Ro the iRobot Roomba 560 includes two virtual wall lighthouse combos, and additional ones will cost you $40 on the iRobot store. Uh, just some notes about the features of this. Again, it'll come off its base station, it'll just drive itself off when it's scheduled or when you press the clean button, and then once it's done, it'll drive itself back on and continue to charge, or it will move on to a next room if you use the lighthouse, or if, you, if it's cleaning and you don't want it to continue, you just want it to stop, you can press the dock button and it'll go ahead and dock itself back up. What's nice about it is it has some features, so it'll slow down when it senses it's going to make impact into a wall, so it's not driving full speed. Now, it's not like this thing's flying down your floor to your home, so it's not as if you're going to get dents in your walls, but it's just nice that it does slow down and it has that. Also, it doesn't drive off stairs, so I have a few staircases in my house, and it would be kind of annoying if I had to set up a virtual wall just to tell it not to drive off the stairs. So I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think when it just senses that part of the bottom isn't on a floor, it stops and turns itself around and then notes that it shouldn't drive over there again. It'll still clean up to the stairs, but it won't suicide itself off. Also, it's one design fits all, so you don't have to get one for your floor, one for your hardwood, one for your carpet. This thing will drive from carpet onto hardwood, onto ceramic, onto anything, and it'll just adjust its sensors or whatever, adjust its cleaning, uh, whatever, and it'll just clean on whatever floor you have. So it's one device fits all. So again, if you were to clean maybe your family room, which then transitions via a lighthouse into a kitchen, you won't have to adjust anything, and it'll just go ahead and clean both, and you won't have to worry about changing settings on it. So just to go over the pros uh, overall, I think the whole scheduling feature is really cool because 
I'm not saying that you want to only use this as your only vacuum, but to have this thing clean at certain times when you're not there, so when you come back each day, you just have a house that's a little bit more maintained or an apartment that's a little bit more maintained is a nice thing to have. Also, the fact that it auto-returns and charges itself and then can, again with the scheduler, come back and do it again is really nice. So really you can set it and forget it. Uh, I know that was an infomercial from a while ago, but you can just set this thing up once and using the lighthouses, using the accessories, you don't have to worry about it being crazy and it'll just go and do everything. And speaking of being crazy, if there's wires, it'll sense that there's wires and it will try to escape. And a lot of times it doesn't get stuck, it gets into some awkward situations and usually can get out. If it does happen to get stuck, it'll shut itself off and start beeping for help. So if you're not even home, it's not just going to continue to spin and go crazy and maybe destroy a wire. It'll just shut itself down, so that's a nice safety feature. In terms of the cons, it's a little bit on the expensive side, and it's not the best vacuum. It's probably an average va vacuum in terms of cleaning and sucking up dirt at best uh, when everything's clean out of the filter. Of course, if you don't clean it after every use, it's going to suck up less and less dirt each time because it can't handle everything in its bag, or I guess it's a bagless design. So I just, it's not the best at sucking up dirt, but like I said, this is a compliment to vacuuming. If you're going to have some guests over and there's a high traffic area in your house, well, I guess more of a family party because just regular friends hanging out, you probably aren't going to go and suck up all the dirt on your floor. But if you were having, you know, a big event and you needed to clean, you'd break out your real vacuum and you'd suck everything up and you'd do a better job. But just from day to day, the Roomba can keep your house just at a higher level of cleanliness because you're not going to have giant chunks of food on your floor or whatever because it's just going to go through each day and clean up as best it can. So overall, it's a cool concept and it's nice to have because like I said, it just keeps your house at, or apartment at a higher level of cleanliness. It just goes through, and I'm reiterating myself, but it'll go through and it'll just do it the best job it can. And you just, at night, you empty it out and it'll just continue to just maintain your house. And then, you know, if you have some occasion where you need extra cleanliness, that's when you'll break out your vacuum. So I think the Roomba is really a complement to having a full-featured vacuum for bigger jobs, but just to keep everything at a, you know, just a little bit higher grade of clean. I think future models will improve in terms of the vacuum and how well it sucks up dirt and capacity as well, because right now after each usage you're supposed to clean out the bag. Uh, so I think down the road we'll see things that pick up more dirt and also can com compound it into smaller and smaller amounts so you can fit more into the Roomba. So again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Here's my review of the iRobot Roomba 560. Hope you enjoyed and consider this. Uh, it makes a great gift, I know, for your parents or friends if you're into that type of thing. Thanks for watching.